In this video, I'm going to show you what makes Gun Bunch one of the best offenses in Madden 23, and we're going to be giving you kind of a couple of really good keys to running it effectively in this video. This is also going to help you if you're ever building another offense out of any other formation, because it's important to understand the meta, because it also helps you become a better Madden player as a whole, because you start to understand why things are good and why things aren't good. So, what makes Bunch so good? In this year's game, I actually think it's really more so about the route than anything else. Bunch has the best routes in the game. Um, what do I mean by the best routes in the game? Well, one of the best routes year in and year out is a post route. You see here in mesh post, we have that. Another one of the best routes year in and year out are these glitchy fades out of clear out FLN. Another one of the best routes year in and year out is the post route from Bunch Trail combined with the corner route from the slot receiver. Very good, right? So just off that alone, I know I could go mesh post. I could go clear out FLN. Maybe I come out and bunch trail. I've already got verticals, which is one of the best plays every single year. And then I could have bench pivot or I could have flood. Some of these little, what I call constraint theory plays, right? There's really five things that you want to look for in an offense. You want to look for a power play, a counter play, a constraint theory play, a run game and a two-point conversion or red zone play. Bunch basically checks the box for all five of those things. And today I'm going to show you one of the best power plays from this formation. It is the play Bunch Trail out of the Gun Bunch formation in the Washington playbook. If you want to get my entire Washington offensive ebook, make sure you join the Patreon. The link is going to be in the description. So this play is super, super good this year. We want to run this with our bunch to the short side. I think that it makes this as good as it possibly can be um, for a couple of different reasons. First things first, a power play has to have the ability. It literally has to. It has to have the ability to attack man coverage. If your power play cannot beat man coverage, it is not a power play. You have to be able to beat man coverage um, with this. Generally speaking, route abilities are very helpful for this. So I've got short in elite on Cooper Cup. I've got short in elite on, um, on Casper. And then I think I've got route tech on Wilson, right? And then I've got short out elite on Pickens. So how are we going to set this up to ensure that we're consistently beating man coverage as well as zone coverage? What I like to do is very simple. We are going to streak our right side receiver. This is going to give us a nice little zone beater on the left side paired with a really good man beater. We're then going to take the left side um, receiver, the solo, and we're going to put him on a, a little corner route little corner route just like this. Now, if I run this with my bunch to the short side of the field, I love to wheel my running back out of the field. This is one of the most high-level Madden plays in the game because we have a man beater over the middle. We have a man beater on the right. We have a man beater on the left. We also have a blitz beater on the left, and we have zone beaters on the right and the left. So it's very difficult to stop this play. What you're going to notice here is that this little uh, corner route is one of the best man beaters in the game. As you can see right there, cooking man cover. Uh, to the sideline. Another thing that is really good this year against man to man is if they are, they're going to have to put something over there, right? They're going to have to put a purple, they're going to put something over there. Then what you're going to be able to do with this play, specifically against man to man coverage, is you are going to then be able to hit your tight end uh, trail route. This is one of the most consistent man beating routes this year, especially if you put the short in elite ability on him. So I'm going to put the short in elite ability on this player, and what you're going to see. There he kind of got bumped off of his route, um, but for whatever reason, for whatever reason, he's getting kind of crazy bumped here. Uh, but this route is fairly consistent against man-to-man. -man. Um, I guess it's not as consistent as I thought it was, uh, but generally speaking, uh, this route is going to be very good. You also have the C route on the left. Let's see if we don't get bumped here. Um, and, of course, we're going to get bumped again. That's crazy how we're getting bumped like that. Um, let me show you to you one more time. I promise it's going to work this time because I'm going to I'm gonna flip it and uh, make sure that this guy can actually beat man-to-man. -man. <laughs> That's crazy. I, I This play has literally beat man all year. But I guess it's because, generally speaking, most people are going to be using that middle linebacker. So he's not going to bump like that. There you see. There's the trail route. That's kind of the separation that I was kind of trying to show you. So you get really good separation on that specific route. So you can beat man to the right, you can beat man to the to the middle, and now we're going to show you how to beat man to the left. This C route is really good, especially with the short out elite ability on him. You're going to highball that to the sideline, and as you can see, it's one of the most consistent man beaters in the game. So you have literally man beaters in every area of the field. I actually think that's super, super important in a good man beater. 
And then this play also beats zone, right? Skimbo talks about taking your man beaters and turning them into zone beaters. I couldn't agree more with that sentiment. Any good power play is going to not only be able to beat man, but it's also going to be able to beat zone. This is where this short side bunch is so good this year because you can flood the zones to the short side and you're going to have a significant level of success, as you can see right there. Cover four, cover three, it doesn't really matter. They're not going to stand a chance against your short side flood to the right. Now, let's say that they go user to the right or whatever. They, they find a way to defend that. Now, my wheel route paired with this C route is going to be really good. I can free form, pass lead that C route to the outside and to the sideline. And as you can see, that can be very effective. So now we're able to beat man in a couple of different key ways um, against the defense. And then that leads me to my last defense talking about a good power play. How are you going to attack match coverage? I actually think match coverage by and large is a decent job against this play. But what you're going to notice is my C route on the left side is really the key read against match coverage. As you can see right there, it's able to just completely destroy the match quarter because the match quarter is basically playing man-to-man -man basketball on the solo receiver. And this also leads me to another thing that I've been kind of talking about a little bit in this video is, do you have an answer? What is your answer for man-to-man -man coverage out of a pressure look? So if they blitz you in man, what are you going to do? I've got this nice little check and release or this quick throw wheel right there that I can just snap. If, they're, if that linebacker is not guarding him, I can get that out there quick. That's one option. Um, we also have a similar option on the right side with this trail route. Right? I can throw that trail route super fast and get a couple quick yards against any kind of pressure that they're going to send. So this is going to put us in a really good spot to be able to attack a lot of what they're going to do from a man coverage perspective. Now, we're going to talk just for a few minutes about what do you do from a zone coverage perspective. If it's a zone blitz, same basic thing. I got my trail route. I've also got my corner route to the right side. So I've got a lot of answers in this play for a lot of how people are going to defend me. Bunch is also good because these answers, they actually put routes in different spots on the field. One of the biggest keys to offense in Madden is you have to be able, you have to be able to attack all 53 and a third yards of this field. Okay, you have to. You have to be able to talk horizontally, vertically, and diagonally. That is super, super important with your route. So what you're seeing here is we're able to attack the right side corner, the left side corner, in the middle of the field, all in one play. And we also have what I think is one of the best quick throw flat routes on both sides because they're really not flat routes at all. They're more snap reads. But if you throw them, like they're quick, you see that the natural picks and rubs and bunch can make these routes significantly more effective. Guys, if you want to get my entire Gun Bunch ebook, make sure you check out the Patreon. The link is down in the description below. $10 is going to get you access to everything in the Patreon. So head down to the description below and check out the Patreon page.